The Atlantic hurricane season, as many are aware, has already begun. The season starts from June the 1st and ends on November 30th, but most hurricanes occur during the fall months. The Eastern Pacific hurricane season begins before the Atlantic hurricane season, and that starts on May 15th and ends on November 30th. There are many myths which have been told to the younger generation by elders, and many of us believe that they are just superstitions. But there are really some truths to these myths. News 4 managed to contact Marlon Hibbert of the Department of Environmental and Coastal Resources to find out which of these myths are really true. So when people say it's very hot and it starts from May, or late April, early May, it's usually a sign that there could be some tropical storm activity later on during the year. Hurricanes gather heat and energy through contact with warm ocean waters of around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Evaporation from the seawater increases their power. Also, the wind must be blowing in the same direction and at the same speed to force the air upward from the ocean surface. Winds which flow outward above the storm allow the air below to rise. Hibbert also reveals some other environmental changes which occur in the ocean during the hurricane season, and this particular one was very surprising. Also, fishermen have reported that when a storm is impending, especially lobster fishermen, the lobsters disappear. Because what happens, the lobsters usually are in the shallow area of the reefs, feeding, hiding under crevices. It's been shown that just before a hurricane comes, the lobsters migrate to deeper water, so they start walking down the slopes toward deeper water. Interesting, isn't it? Well, if you hear the fishermen saying that the lobsters have been migrating, it could be a sign that a storm is approaching. Tropical cyclones are measured using the Sapphire-Simpson scale. This scale determines which wind speed is considered as, for example, Category 1, how much storm surge is estimated to occur, and how much pressure in millibars there is. So, Turks and Caicos residents, ensure that you stay safe and be prepared during this hurricane season. For WIV4 News, I'm Zoya Fassler.